We'll guide you through how to install mods in Minecraft on your iPhone or iPad. If you find this guide useful, then please consider subscribing and liking the video. First of all, go and close off Minecraft like so, and go and open up a web browser. I'll just go and use Safari as it's the default browser and it's sort of the easiest to use. And you want to go and find a mod you wish to go and get. So if you're unsure of what mod you want and you want to go and browse for mods, then a website I like to use is called MCPEDL. As you can see, there it is. Then what you can do is go to the top left and click on the three lines and we can then go and click on add-ons under mods. Now what we can do is browse through here and go and see all the different mods which are available. The mod I want to go and get is this one here, Nico's Block Expansion. So go and click on the one you want and then you can go and scroll through here and read the information about it. Near the bottom, you'll see the download guide and also the installation steps as well. So make sure you read through them and understand them. They will vary a little bit. And also there's a few settings you may need to go and change in Minecraft. So I'm aware of these. So now what I'm gonna do is scroll down to the actual downloads and I'm gonna firstly download the behavior pack. You'll probably need to get the behavior pack and the resource pack. So you go and start with the behavior pack. I'll go and click on it and we're now leaving here and the download process will be slightly different. So I'll just go and follow through the steps and I'll get taken to the Mediafire page where I can then click on the download and it should then go and begin shortly. I can then press download and it's now downloading. Now what I need to do is go back and I need to go and get the resource pack. So I'll then click here and I'll go and repeat it and I'll click on the download and I can go and download it. So I've now downloaded the behavior pack and resource pack. So I'll click on the download icon in the bottom left of Safari and then click on downloads. And then what you can do is go and click on one of them like so, and it will go and take you to where they are. You may need to scroll down and here it is. And then what you need to do is hold your finger on it like so. You'll see this sort of list of options, click on share, and then you can go and click on Minecraft, just like so. Minecraft will go and open up and it'll then go and say import started at the top. Just wait, and it now has successfully imported the behavior pack. And I then need to go and do the resource pack. So I can hold my finger on it. I can go and click on share and then Minecraft. And it should then go and do the same. And so to go and use it, all you need to do is go into your worlds. I'll go and create a new one for just this guide. And on the left, you need to go and scroll down to resource packs and behavior packs. And then what you need to do is go and click on activate just like that. And it will then be in active and in resource packs, it's automatically been enabled as well. As I was showing you in the installation instructions, it said there's a few settings we need to change. For mine, I need to go to advanced, and then I need to go and disable recipe unlocking, and then we need to go down to experiments, and then what you need to do is go and switch all of these on. There is a risk of things like crashing happening, but for this to go and work, these need to be turned on, and this will apply to pretty much all mods and add-ons. Now that we've done that, we can go and create the world. Now here we are in the world, and just to show you it's working, I'll go and show you something it added. I'll go and open the inventory, and what I did was search for fern, and if you didn't know with this add-on I got, it actually goes and adds something called fern bales. And so as you can see, I can now go and place 